Happy Match Day 2021. Wait, what is Match Day? Welcome back. I'm the Intense MD, a double board certified intensivist here to give you an inside look into the ICU. So you may be seeing on your social media feeds a lot of medical students talking about Match Day and you're wondering what is that? So Match Day is the end of the residency program application cycle. It is the third Friday in March every year. It's the process to apply to most residency programs. I want to note that this year the process was a little different because of the pandemic. Interviews were done virtually, the timeline was changed. I know that the application was pushed a month later, but Match Day is still the third Friday in March. The application for residency programs opens in September. It's a common application, so you log on to the website and upload your CV, letters of recommendation, your dean's letter, your med school transcript, your licensing exam scores, and just check off which programs and which type of program you're applying to, and it sends it off to all of those programs. Usually late October until end of January is typically the interview season. I applied for internal medicine residency, so I can tell you a little bit about typical interview day in internal medicine residency. I'm sure that other programs have a similar format, but who knows, they might do something slightly different. But for an internal medicine program, it'll start early in the morning around seven o'clock and you'll get you know the continental breakfast and sit through board review or morning report, some type of educational lecture typically run by the residents or chief residents, sometimes the program director. And that gives the applicants an idea of the educational content that the program provides. After that, there's typically an overview of the program. They'll talk about how their programs differ from other programs, what their scheduling looks like, what rotations you'll do. And that's typically given by either the program director or a chief resident. After that, you'll have your interviews, typically one-on-one -on -one interviews with a chief resident or faculty member. After the interviews, usually everyone goes on a tour of the hospital. You'll see what the different wards look like. Not that that makes much of a difference because by the end of the interview season, you're like, they all look the same. And then the day typically concludes around lunchtime. So you'll have lunch with the current residents and you'll hear from their perspective how they feel about the program. You'll have the opportunity to ask them questions and get a general sense of how they feel about the program. So once interview season is over, in February you certify what's called the rank order list. Of all the programs that offer you interviews and that you completed an interview at, you can rank this program. You rank your most desired program at the top of the list down to your least desired program. And if you really didn't like a program, you cannot rank it at all. Meanwhile, each residency program is doing the same thing for the applicants they interviewed. They rank their most desired applicant at the top all the way down. And if they really did not think an applicant was a good fit for their program, then they may not rank them at all. So this, these two rank order lists, the applicant list and the program list go into an algorithm and they match the applicant to the program. So if you ranked a program at the top of your list and they ranked you at the top of your list, it's a match. If you ranked a program at the top of your list and a program has five spots, and they rank you number six, if someone in spots one through five on their list match somewhere else, you move up and you get matched to that program. So match week is the third week in March. It starts on Monday. Monday at noon, everyone who applied for the match receives an email and it tells you if you have matched or not. That's all it says. Either congratulations you matched or you did not match. It does not give you any other information about location, specialty, nothing. Then at, on Friday at noon, all applicants 
who matched received the information about where they have matched. Typically medical schools have a celebration or ceremony for their match day. For instance, my medical school had a match day celebration where it was completely optional, but those who wanted to participate gathered in the auditorium around 1130 and we had music when we walked in and everyone was able to make a slide and on the slide it said our name, we had a photo, our hometown, you know, where we went to college what specialty we apply for or hope to match in, our favorite memories from medical school, fun facts about us, things like that. So in random order, one by one, we were all called up and given our envelope because your match is in a sealed envelope. So everyone got their envelope and when we went up to the stage to get it, there was a big bowl that we were able to put money in. Most people put about a dollar in this bowl. And the last person to get called, since they were waiting the longest to receive their envelope, was able to take the money. A lot of medical schools do this. So guess who got the money on their match day? <laughs> this girl, which was even more exciting for me because not only did I get a match, I got a big bowl of money. So <laughs> after I went back to my seat and it was noon, you cannot find out your match before noon. We counted down and we opened our envelopes and read off where we matched and that was it. <laughs> match day can be a very emotional day for a lot of people. They might match at their top choice. They might match at a choice they didn't desire. They might match at a location they didn't desire. They might match them are away from family, closer to family. There are so many ways this can go. So that's why some people opt to not even come to the ceremony at all because they don't know how they're gonna react. They don't know where they're gonna match and they'd rather be in private when this happens. I know of some medical schools where their match day ceremony starts at noon. And when you're called to get your envelope, you open it and read it aloud on stage and I think if I went to medical school and that was the process, I probably would have opted out. So now that I've told you about what match day is, you may have some questions such as what happens if you don't match? So on Monday, if you get an email that says you do not match, you can enter the SOAP, stands for Supplemental Offer and Acceptance Program. So just like an applicant may not match, a program may not match and fill all of their positions. So they will list off what positions they have vacant and applicants who did not match may apply to them. And my understanding is this is a very rapid process. There's phone interviews, there's phone calls, and there's offers going around within a 24 to 48 hour period because by Friday at noon, those applicants know um, where they're going the next year. You might be thinking, well, you just said that people may not be happy. So what happens if you just don't go to that program and you just say, you know what? I'm not going to take that spot. I'm going to apply next year and see how I do. Well, when you certify your rank order list, you are technically signing a contract. And this contract says you will go wherever you are matched. If you do not, if you for some reason do not show up to your program, do not participate in that program, it's considered a match violation. You may be banned from the match in all future cycles. If people aren't happy on match day, they still end up going to the program that they match to. And a lot of times they end up liking it more than they expect it. Another question that you might have is, wait, what happens if I'm married and my significant other is in medical school in their fourth year and we wanna to match together. What happens if I wanna match with my twin? What happens if I want to match with my roommate? So there is something called the couples match and the way this works is each applicant will apply for the programs that they desire, the specialty they desire. You don't have to apply for the same specialty or the same programs. And then when it comes time to do a rank order list, they will link their list together and essentially make combination matches that says, if person A matches at this program, then person B wants to match at this program and so on. At the bottom of the list, many times will people say, 
person A matches and they rank their order one through however many they interviewed at and person B no match and vice versa they'll do person A no match and person B will rank their rank order list as if they were independent just in case one of them does not match any program that at least somebody gets a position. That's a personal decision that people make whether or not they want to pursue that. There's mixed feelings and reactions about why or why not someone should do that. Some people think it makes you more or less competitive. I personally did not pursue that and I ended up matching in the same program as my significant other anyway. But, um, but there are some stories of people who matched together and did not stay together. That being said, you don't need to prove that you're a couple in any way. You just link your application to one other person's rank order list and make your rank order list together. So if you matched today, congratulations. Tell me where you matched down below. And if you've matched in the past and you have an interesting match day story, let me know. I will see you on Tuesday for the first in our life support series.